Oh, hi. I'm Manny from The Manny Show. So The Manny Show just saved his career and you won't believe how he did it. If you're wearing a black shirt right now, I would highly recommend you hold on to them for dear life because what I'm about to say might just blow them clean off you. This is something that I never thought I would be able to say. This came out so fast that even Einstein wouldn't have seen it coming. We just got the world's first YouTuber apology that wasn't absolutely annoying. I know that's a very difficult information to digest into your heavenly system, so I'll give you a second to catch a divine breath, maybe go perform CPR on your dog if he passed out after hearing this miraculous news. For those who doesn't know who the Manny Show is, Manny the Long Face is one of the biggest shorts creator on the internet whose content I can only describe in one fat way and that's by simply calling it Facebook Mom Humor. It's those type of videos where the humor is supposed to be the fat that is like unusual and relatable and then they put in that annoying laughing audio that acts like a cute cat to tell you when you're supposed to laugh. You know just like they do in Nickelodeon. Costume. Really embarrassing. Yeah! So nobody better take a picture of me and post it online. <laughs> I have to take a picture of him and post it online. <laughs> I can't believe I actually enjoyed watching Nickelodeon when I was like 10 years old. Like it's not even funny. That's basically the man shows video in a nutshell. We'll talk about Nickelodeon in this video. Hey Patrick, what am I now? Uh, stupid? No, I'm Texas. What's the difference? <laughs> I don't understand how 8,000 people watch that and it's just like, yeah, that's funny, I wanna say a little bit more of that. But his Facebook mom humor is not the reason he's apologizing. It was actually because he copy striked a YouTuber named Ingram when he uploaded a video titled Why Everyone Hates the Man Issue. This got Manny a lot of negative attention because a copy strike is a lot different from a copy claim. A copy claim simply means whichever money you make on the claimed video goes to whoever claims the video. A copy strike, on the other hand, easily sends a message to that creator that they want your channel to deleted from YouTube because once you get up to 3 strike on the channel, that channel automatically gets deleted from YouTube. So basically a copy strike is just like a forbidden fruit, so once you eat it there is no going back. A big creator like The Manny Show knows that a copy strike is just like stabbing someone at the back just because you can. There's only few circumstances for a copy strike to be justified and Igwin's video did not qualify for a copy strike. All he did was to watch a few of Manny's video and said yeah that's cringe. Basically like you know a reaction video. <laughs> Any of you have made a Manny Show video, I wouldn't worry too much because this morning my Manny Show video just got smited. The video in question that was taken down is why everyone hates the Manny Show. Things got way worse for Manny when a few days later he copy struck another YouTuber who goes by the name Coco Crazy. Coco uploaded a similar video to Igwin and this one was worse because Coco is actually 16 years old and so a lot of people saw this as bullying a minor who literally just started uploading on YouTube all because she said something about him that he didn't right. like. It was supposed to be a normal day. I go to check a computer at a nearby library and scroll through my notifications on my channel. And then I see a small email. I couldn't believe it. I had gotten warnings that the Manny Show was copyright striking videos criticizing him, but I didn't think he would notice my channel. I mean, he has 12 million subs and is 23 years old. I'm a minor, 16 with 20,000 subs. Surely this left an impression that Manny was abusing the copy strike system so that people couldn't talk bad about anything he does, which is initially not only going against the YouTube's community guideline, but it's actually illegal. So because of this, Manny was painted red and he has been the talk of the town for over like two weeks now. Everybody has made a video about him, including my grandma. Manny went over two weeks without saying anything about the situation, which is probably not the best thing to do, but four days ago, he made a history on YouTube. He did something no other youtuber has been able to do he brought his career back to life he literally poured the fresh bread of life into his career and somehow managed to snatch it out of the iron fist of death and it was all because of this one video called setting the record straight i want to set the record straight about what has happened since i returned from my very first vidcon last week so being a content creator it's a full-time full -time job, job and it's a ton of work and my team is literally just me and my friend. So ahead of VidCon, I hired an agent to help me manage my monetization sharing. And they went beyond by filing a copyright claim on Enquin's video and flagging some others. This shows the biggest issue that YouTube has. And that's the fact that any random mother for occur can just randomly copy strike a video whenever they feel like it. I didn't complete the F word because my last video on Bell Delphine got demonetized because, you know, I said a lot of f-u-c-h-k words this situation of the copy system is actually terrifying like just a few days ago the same thing happened to sniper wolf every single person talked bad about her thinking she was actually
actually sharing free copy strikes when it turned out that she didn't even know anything about what was going on. But Sniper Wolf did so many stupid things aside from sharing free copy strikes. But it all goes back to show how broken of a system YouTube has. Like there is no good reason why a system that holds so much power on someone's livelihood should be that fragile and easy to exploit by everyone. Like I mean everyone. I'm the genius who hired them but never with the intention to suppress any content or take down accounts. Like me, as someone who has been censored by TikTok multiple times, like I am firmly against censorship. So as soon as we learned what had happened, we immediately contacted Enguine to see the video, found no issue with the video, and contacted YouTube to reinstate the video and make things right with Enguine. I immediately fired the agent honestly that agent deserves to be locked up in jeffrey Dahmer's basement just firing him is not just enough but anyways i'm glad that manny show you know stood up to his responsibility and did what's right you know most youtubers struggle to do what's right and that's just the thing about youtubers i also contacted youtube to remove any claims against any other videos that had may have been like what caught up in this bullshit. like but at the end of the day it is my name on the channel. I hired the agent and I take full responsibility. Like to those outraged by this, I am genuinely sorry with what has happened. Well, the Manny Show, I'm absolutely sorry I laughed at your video like you know two minutes ago but yeah um i love this apology this was like the best apology youtube has ever offered i i think it's the only apology that youtube is gonna offer that you know is not gonna be like cringy and stupid just like the others i respect our community and it it's hard like we work really hard on this platform so i respect you all for what you do while some of you may disagree with what i do mine is a comedy channel and i certainly have no problem with people making fun of me i've I've seen a lot of hater video thumbnails and many which are way, way better than mine. Like, have you seen some of these? Like, I've laughed at some of the things Enguin and Penguins and others have said. That's some f***ing filthy fish paste right there. Bro, he's standing like a mom about to call the manager up. Yeah, he looks like a Karen ready to, like, speak to the manager real quick. The connoisseur of cringe getting off of his throne. Sensitive cyborg. The Manny Show is a bad actor. In fact, I am a big fan of penguins aka charlie and love his work and the things that he said and yes he contacted youtube and the video is back on english channel i love what he said about the hate comments like if you don't like someone's video just keep scrolling there is literally no need to put it on the comment section just you know people have feelings too just like you and just understand that no matter how you hate someone's content it's not gonna affect them in any way and besides you are only creating more engagement on that video which the algorithm pushes the video to more people that might even like the creator so you know um if you hate me i don't mind you leaving a you know hate comments you know call me a jackass call my voice you know bullshit but it only makes the video get more views yeah uh tomorrow's video is gonna be leaked so please check it out and bye haha <laughs>